Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of stock index futures. I'll start with the UK FTSE futures. A reactionary bullish white Marabozo yesterday. Almost, but not quite, a key reversal up. The market based itself, unsurprisingly, on the same support we'd had on Tuesday. That's the World Telegraphed recent 50% Fibonacci line at 69.76. However, the base of support this time helped prices motor straight up through the combination of the flat lining medium moving average, currently 70.46, and the short medium moving average, currently 70.44. Now, the next bit is very, very important, and I would appreciate you paying close attention here. As I've said all this week and last as well, in the greater scheme of things, we are also set with only today to go for a possible monthly key reversal here. If we close tonight either over 7097 or under 6966, then we'd be on. Right now, we've moved up from a lesser outside month and earlier monthly key reversal down to a possible monthly key reversal up. In fact, we're just flir flirting with it at the moment. Thus, tonight's close is very, very, very important. Now, so far today, we've had a move higher, moving us up into this monthly key reversal up territory. It all depends now on tonight's close. Meanwhile, slightly higher from where we are, we have a Fibonacci resistance at 71.44 and then the highs of this year at 71.89, 71.96 and 72.17 and a half. Plus the super important 50% projected Fibonacci line at 72.16. That's what caused the all-time high at 72.17 and a half. German DAX futures. An immediate countering a bullish Harami. Uh, yesterday, we're after the previous session's bearish engulfing pattern. Despite it being an immediate countering move, it seems to be more reactionary than a call to arms. All we seem to have managed to do was continue the market's avoidance of the supports below from the previously mentioned old September to December 2020 reverse head and shoulders neckline currently at 15.057 and a nearby rising long moving average currently 15.020. Narrowing in now on yesterday's action, all we managed to do was move up and close over the lesser Fibonacci line at 15.289 and the compound GAN, compound GAN number at 15.309. Overhead, we still have the flat lining medium moving average currently 15.617 and the projected 50% Fibonacci line at 15.629. 629 and the almost flatlining short medium moving average currently 15654. Finally, please also note that unlike some other stock index futures which have had similar moves, in a DAX futures here there is no monthly key reversal possible here. Now so far today, a slightly higher open and an attempt to move higher which has seemingly failed as we were pulled back down to the low of today and yesterday's close thus looking like a possible well, we did look like a possible shooting star pattern when I started this, but looking now more like a bearish dark cloud cover pattern. E-mini S&P futures. An indecisive doji cross yesterday. Something you really wouldn't wish to see as we head into the last day of this important month. The, ses the session's action saw the market punch back up over the important near nexus of the extension of the upper trend line, currently at 43.53, of the lower rising wedge pattern, the May to July rising wedge pattern, and also the slowly rising medium moving average, currently at 43.61. However, despite a move up over both of these and a significant way up towards the broken May to September uptrend, currently at 43.92, prices still did not manage to really sustain the move higher and ended up, as I've previously stated, as an indecisive doji cross. So looking below, the next supports are recent and questionable. Lows at 43.21 and 42.93. Yet over all of this, please remember my recent caution. This is one of the stock index futures that has done enough in September to make with just today to go to make a possible monthly key reversal in September. 
If we close tonight either over 45.21 or under 43.89, then we'd be on. Right now, we've moved back into, I'd say barely, but we've still done it. We've moved back into a possible monthly key reversal down after earlier being in an outside month situation and earlier still as a full key reversal down seen early last week. Just please remember, we only have today to go for this. Now, so far today, a higher open on the medium moving average and utilizing the upper trend line of the lower rising wedge pattern as a base for a try higher. We've even managed to reach the magic number of 43.89 as a high for so far today. But we've since moved back down to, uh, to just over the medium moving average. And we're looking like a high yet still indecisive possible spinning top. French CAC 40 futures. A reactionary bullish harami yesterday with a higher open and a cap, I suppose unsurprisingly, managed by the very slowly rising medium moving average currently at 65.91. Overhead we also have near the medium moving average the broken upper downtrend trend line of the recent possible June to September diamond top. That's currently at 65.89. Meanwhile below we have the lesser Fibonacci line at 64.94 which had halted the market's decline earlier this week. Now, going back to the possible diamond top, the June to date diamond top pattern, if this does indeed turn out to be a diamond top pattern, will have a potential target X in the 6242 area. It's far from a perfect diamond, especially as the low was formed before the high of the diamond. However, it is still there. I should also point out, once again, something I highlighted last week and also earlier this week. The first two days of last week could still be seen as an island bottom with all the implications that brings. Finally, this contract shares something with the DAX stock index futures. It will not be a monthly key reversal. Not here. So far today, a stronger, higher open over the medium moving average and the broken up or downtrend trend line, oddly seeming to halt at the declining short moving average of all things that currently 66.17 and then turning back down, right down. I don't know why yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion that today may end up being an outside day if we carry on like this. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives you essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs>